Welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm just following up to uh, show you the uh, version of Sparky Linux that I was trying to install yesterday. I downloaded the ISO file from Sparky Linux, the XFCE version, and uh, I burned it to a CD. I'm sorry, I burned it to a USB stick, and I was able to install. So I replaced the version that I installed yesterday the uh, LXDE version with the XFCE version. Uh, it installed without without any problems at all. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I'll just go through a few things with you. Uh, they, again, they pack a lot of uh, useful utilities into the distribution. I'm going to go over the stock uh, software. I only added a few things just to make this video. Um, I, I did my normal P sensor to monitor my temperatures and my redshift. So I have redshift and P sensor installed. Uh, this little red one here is the um, Kazam uh, screen recorder. And I've got the GUVC view uh, for my um, little camera insert. Okay, so um, this is the list of software. Uh, let's see. Accessories. I'll make this a little bit bigger for this demonstration. Okay, so on accessories, we have, and it's pretty extensive an application finder, a bulk rename, Conkey manager, and that's basically for this Conkey over here. Eraser, I get, that's a secure f uh, system to erase files securely. Uh, a virtual keyboard, calculator, image viewer, midnight commander, file manager, mouse pad, notes. Uh, this ba basically is a world clock. It shows clocks from different countries. Clipboard manager, my redshift, a screenshot, task manager, Thunar file manager which I, I really enjoy working with Thunar. Uh, USB image writer, the stick formatter, UX uh, terminal, archiver, XF burn for CDs and DVDs, and another uh, terminal. Uh, and so education is just LibreOffice Math, games is Play on Linux, graphics, Camerama webcam viewer, document viewer, uh, GIMP, image magic, image viewer, LibreOffice Draw, Simple Scan. Internet, it came with GFTP, HexChat, IceDove, IceWeasel. This Liferea evidently is a news feed. It's like an RSS feed. Uh, Pigeon, Transmission, Trippial, and this is a download manager you get. For multimedia, Audio Mixer, Camerama Webcam Viewer, uh, Exhale, that's uh, audio, that's to listen to music. Gnome player to play your media. Then this I downloaded GUVC view. This is to install your multimedia codecs. This is a, you just click on this and click OK and uh, Sparky automatically installs all of the multimedia codecs within Linux. And so it saves you from having to go hunt all, all, each of them down. I downloaded Kazam, Radio Tray, evidently is an internet radio program. Record my desktop. Uh, I, guess, I have never used that, but uh, I guess it's similar to Kazam. I usually use Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, VLC Media Player and XF Burn. For Office, you've got LibreOffice, uh, PDF Document Viewer, uh, and a uh, the, the, the clocks from different countries and some of these show up in more than one category if they overlap. Settings is extensive. Um, that's where I think Sparky Linux really excels. They have pretty much everything covered on your settings. Um, startup programs, screensaver, removable drives. They, they pretty much have everything covered uh, as far as settings go. And I'll tell you, I really like it. It's it's a it, it seems to be a very very nicely configured system. Then on the system settings again, uh, same thing. You've got so many 
system uh, interfaces. Uh, the, I installed P sensor, so that's where they put it. But um, you, you, it's just it's it's amazing how much they get into a uh, a lightweight system, and it's very fast. I see no lag on this at all, and they also install Mutt Wine, so I like to. Um, use play on Linux for for uh, downloading Blizzard games I like Hearthstone I'm not big on World of Warcraft but I like Hearthstone and I like Starcraft uh, to a certain degree uh, so I use uh, play on Linux for those and then I use Steam for some other games um, so that's the uh, that's the situation now here you've got all settings and let's see these are all the settings that you need to get at they're all in one place and the nice thing is they had um, I was able to configure on the window manager tweaks I liked when I I'm not using compositing but on placement I like to when I open a window I like it to be at the center of the screen so if you slide this size uh, little slider for size from small to large I always put it up at the large and click on the center and that way it covers all of the all of the uh, windows that usually that usually takes care of the placement I'm not using compositing um, you can see what happens when I click it uh, and I um, see I got a little bit of screen tearing but not too much and again I don't have a separate graphics card on the system it's integrated Intel graphics right on the motherboard so if I take off compositing it's actually it seems to be a little bit better but I'm gonna leave compositing off and uh, and that's about it guys um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments please rate comment and subscribe um, let if you enjoy the website uh, I, I'd be uh, appreciative if you let your friends know about it and if you have any ideas on something that you'd like me to cover let me know and I'll do my best to get that done for you uh, so I will see you next time guys take care